Hello folks, Ryan Shipman here at eGolf Motors in Brevard, North Carolina and this is a 2017 Jeep Cherokee. This is an Overland model. I'm kind of surprised I haven't done a video on this yet because it has a ton of nice features on there. Um, so let's get started. Like I said, 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland model, four wheel drive. Everything else on this is standard. So there are no additional options on this vehicle and you're about to see all the great options and equipment that's on there. So just doing a quick walk around to the outside, as you can see the dual exhausts there and the nice um, polished aluminum wheels. All right, black in color on the outside. Got a beautiful front end with fog lights, nice chrome bezel on the bottom there. Okay. All right, now this is a key fob system. Here, let me pull this key out and show you. All right, key fob system here. As you can see, we've got my lock, my, my unlock, sorry, and my lock, um, my power lift gate there. If I press that button twice, it will pop. And my remote start system, as well as a panic. The remote start system is awesome. You can start that from anywhere um, within a certain range of the vehicle. So in your home, grocery store, whatever you want to do, get it cooled down or warmed up um, before you come out to your vehicle. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that lift gate. And as you can see, I can do it from my key fob system. And while that's popped, I'm going to um, show you the inside as well. All right, and here's the inside. Going to just start with a side view, um, and I'll give you a shot of the back as well. Does have leather interior. As you can see, it has the perforated seats and your power seat option um, with your lumbar assist as well. Okay. Um, I'm going to hop in on the inside and give you some more details about the front. And, but I'm just going to give you a shot of the back here as well. And leather interior again. Does have a 150 watt three prong outlet there. 115 volts. Okay, that's just a one nice feature to have. Um, especially if you enjoy camping, something like that. And here's the back there. Again, power lift gate. Um, so you can open and close. The button um, to close the vehicle is right here, and that is power, okay? And right now you can see we've got a bunch of stuff and wrappers here. It's brand new, so the floor mats and um, back mat and everything there. Um, the seats do fold down in the back. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I just popped that, okay? As you can see, I'm going to push that all the way down there. And the seat's in the way. Hold on just a second. And finally went down. Okay, that was awkward, but we made it work. So you can see it folds down. I left one up so you can kind of see the difference there. Okay, and more importantly, the best thing about this vehicle is all the toys on the inside. So let me hop in there and show you that. All right, now I'm in the on the inside of the vehicle. Okay, give you a shot here of the touch screen. That's an 8.4 inch touch screen. Um, this does have navigation, remember, I said everything that this vehicle has is standard. So navigation is standard. Uh, if I go into controls here, heated seats, vented seats is standard. Um, heated steering wheel, standard. A lot of nice equipment on this vehicle, guys. Um, so I'm going to go show you a couple things on the touch screen real quick. Sirius satellite radio is free for a year. Um, we do have FM radio um, and everything as well as the AM. All right, and I'm going to go back to Sirius here, media, so I'm going to get a little closer, sorry. Um, so you can connect your phone via Bluetooth, and you can Bluetooth stream your audio. You can plug into the vehicle here. See that aux cord and the USB, um, so you can stream it there as well, and you can just access all of that by media. Controls, I was just in there. And that's how we get to our heated seats and everything, and also settings is available. Apps, um, climate control, and the navigation, um, and the Bluetooth for your phone, which will pop up um, when you pair your phone up, okay? I mentioned climate. You can do climate from the touchscreen. You can do it down here as well. 
um, as well as volume and tune and everything there. There is a screen off button. Um, if you're driving at night and it's too bright, it's distracting, you can turn it off. Traction control, auto start stop system. That's going to stop the vehicle temporarily when you're at a red light and uh, when you take your foot off the brake to go back to accelerate, it will kick it back on. That saves emissions and gas and um, just saves you money. And you got your climate control with your dual climate zone here as well, okay? Um, give you a little shot of the four wheel drive there. Does have four wheel drive low and your hill descent control and snow sport, sand and mud mode. And that little end there, that tiny button, that's your neutral flat toe. So you can pull this on all four wheels on the ground um, behind a RV camp or whatever, whatever you got, whatever you want to pull. Um, that's a really nice thing. That is standard, okay? So all of this stuff is standard. We've got your emergency park brake, automatic transmission, everything there, okay? Um, I'm going to go right here to this screen. This is the driver screen. Um, let me give you a shot of the steering wheel. These little arrow pads on the left, I'm going to use to control that screen there, um, as well as these the green um, phone and red phone button. That's for Bluetooth to answer and place calls and you do have your voice recognition button so you can actually change your climate change the radio station do a lot of different things um, you can set your navigation up um, through that voice button there but real quick I'm gonna use those arrow pads show you we can go screen setup so you can personalize the screen uh, to fit you better digital speedometer if you ever look up on digital speedometer you're going like 120 and you know you're only going about 60 or 70 just press ok because you're in kilometers unless you're in Canada then you'd want to go to kilometers alright and so I'm going to scroll down here and that's my individual tire pressure um, in my vehicle information screen I can go over in that vehicle info screen look at tr transmission temperature oil temperature oil life a lot of different stuff I can look at in that info screen. Fuel economy screen. I uh, can look at average current miles per uh, gallon. So all my fuel economy there. And trip information, trip A and trip B. Okay, stop start. That has to do with that auto start stop I was telling you about. And your audio and your stored messages for your phone. And back to the screen setup and the digital speedometer. So a lot of information in there. I could spend a ton of time on that screen, but just want to give you a brief overlay. Don't want to overwhelm you. We do have our automatic lights here on the side. I'll give you a better shot there. Um, so I can rotate it all the way to the right for the auto and my power lift gate button there where my thumb is. So I can pop the lift gate from inside. Um, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, memory seats. All of this stuff is standard guys. Um, one more thing on the side view mirror, we have our assist button and our 911 button. You can press 911 anytime you're in an emergency situation, it will call 911 immediately. The assist button um, will actually assist you with some different things inside the vehicle. Okay, and there is a little storage spot there. Um, just a nice little spot maybe for your phone. And that's pretty much it on the inside guys. Um, it does have the push button start as well but I'm gonna give you one more shot of the outside. All right, thanks for bearing with me. This vehicle has a ton of options, so it took a little while to go over everything. Um, again, this is a Ryan Shipman at Egolf Motors. This is a 2017 Jeep Cherokee Overland model. Um, thanks for watching. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, hopefully come back and watch some more videos. Thanks, guys.